Hi everyone, I'm Coach Jen, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use Kahoot. So this is a platform that we are going to use during class, and I just wanna make sure that everyone is familiar with it. Okay, so what's gonna happen in class is your instructor, so in this case, it'll be me, will be showing on my screen, the main big screen, whether it's on Zoom or in your classroom, a screen that looks like this. So it'll say Kahoot with a big exclamation point, um, and it'll have a number at the top. So it's a seven digit number that is your game pin. So what do you need to do? Um, you need to take your device, um, whether that's an iPad or a Chromebook or another computer, and you need to open up an internet browser. So there's many different kinds of internet browsers. Um, I recommend using Google Chrome if you have it. Um, the Chrome symbol looks like a little circle rainbow. So it's a blue center, has a red on the top, and then it has yellow and green on the side. So it's a browser is whatever you use to search the internet, whether it's Google or something else. So when you double click on that, you can actually type in the web address. And so the web address is actually written right here. It says join at www.kahoot.it. So for most internet browsers though, um, it will go ahead and add the www for you. So all you need to do is open up your internet browser and type in K-A-H-O-O-T dot I-T. So that last part's important because I know a lot of websites end with something else like .com, but if you go to kahoot.com, it won't take you to where you need to go. You need to go to kahoot.it and the dot is just like a period. Okay, so when you get to kahoot.it, it will look something like this. So you'll have a solid color background um, and it'll say kahoot with an exclamation point and there will be a blank space for your game pin. So this is what it would look like on your computer, kahoot.it. So for the game pin, as you might guess, you'll wanna put in the unique seven digits that your instructor is showing you on the screen. So don't put the one in that's in this YouTube video right now. Um, put in the one that your instructor will show you. So in this example, I'm going to use this. So you type it in, you can type it in one number at a time, then you click enter. It'll say it's connecting, and then it'll ask for your nickname. So I recommend using your first name only here. If you have a long version of your name and a short version, go ahead and use the short version. It'll just be easier for you to type it. Um, for example, my long name is Jennifer. My short name is Jen. So I'm just gonna use J-E-N, and I'm gonna click, okay, go. So when you're done typing, so you're in, it's your nickname on the screen. So then you look at your instructor's wall and you should see your name just like I see Jen. So I'm gonna practice one here. So let's say I'm a student whose name is Alexander. So I'll type in my short name, my nickname Alex. So then we'll see what it looks like when there's more than one student. First, I type in that game pin, and then I type in my nickname. Okay, so you can see here, now both Alex and Jen are in the Kahoot. So we're gonna give everyone in class just a few minutes to make sure that the, everyone's in the game mode. If for some reason at any point, let's say your internet or your device um, stops working, that's totally fine. You can still follow along um, with the lesson. Um, and if you wanna still give your answers and you're doing an online class, you can type it in the Zoom chat um, or you can just think it in your head and see how you do. Um, but we're hoping everyone will be able to be connected with a device and then we can actually um, guess together. Okay. So when everyone's ready, your instructor is going to click start. And so this is like a fun quiz game. 
where the instructor will be teaching you throughout. So what happens is you'll have different choices and the cho question and the choices will be on the instructor screen. Then on your screen, you'll just see the answer choices. So let's say I think the answer is red, the red triangle. I will click it on my device. And then when I'm, when I'm clicking, it'll wait for other people to submit their answers as well. There'll be a timer. Um, so you'll notice um, on my iPad, I guess the answer red. Um, on this other device, time was up, so I didn't get a chance. So you'll get more points if you get correct answers that are faster. So if you don't know, you can always guess. Um, but it's all for fun anyways. The scoreboard is just for fun. So no matter where you on the scoreboard, as long as you're learning and having fun, it's all good. Okay. Now there'll be options that say no need to answer this time. And then on your device, the only thing it will say is look up, no need to answer this time. So that means there's not a question. It's not a quiz. It means your instructor is trying to teach you something. So you should be paying attention to what your instructor is saying and what's on the screen. And here's a hint. If it's something that we're teaching you, we're probably going to ask you about it later on the coop. So you should really try to be paying attention with your ears and your eyes. Sometimes there'll be options that actually have four colors. So this time there's red, orange, blue, and green. So it works the same way. You just tap on your device for what the colors are. And the instructor will also be reading out the answers and the question. So that is pretty much all you need to know about Kahoot. I hope this video was helpful and we'll see you all soon.